are you doing, big bro? Luca27, thanks. <laughs> doing all right, man. Just, um, chilling, chilling. Yep. Just a chilling. Man, I gotta get used to, um, looking at this new, Good to see you again, champ. this new Twitch, um, layout. I've been gone for so long. Yo, Raspy, thanks, bro. Thanks for the resub. Been practicing Armor King because of me? <laughs> Thanks. I'm not even like the Armor King specialist, but if you're really playing him because of me, then I am eternally grateful. <laughs> uh, D Paragon. Thanks. Jesus. I do not like this new twist layout. Or rather, I just don't understand it yet. Let me, um. Hop out to see you in more tournaments next year. Majin the guy. More tournaments next year? Ibatu? Um. Yeah, so. About that, my TWT dreams for 2019 definitely over. <laughs> they were over a long time ago because you know I just couldn't go to all the events, you know, due to work and you know other stuff. It's just, just wasn't possible. I know I did like below average like performance at least this year, like you just go back and look at my year in um, review you know it's just <laughs> it wasn't the greatest it was like a pale comparison to last year but at the very least um, I am okay with that and I think that next year I'm gonna be a lot stronger you know they made King stronger too even though he really, you know, was strong already, but now he's like, what's that, super strong, extra strong? Oh yeah. But, um, really, really, really happy with what they've done with King and, um, really happy for the future hopefully there is a TWT 2020 got my hopes up <laughs> we'll see with the next patch you guys think I'm the most entertaining Tekken player wow that's a lot it's a lot to take in especially since you know you guys haven't seen too much of me this year compared to last year just a lot of you know work related stuff I ran out of vacation time you know pretty early you know going to like tournaments having to take a whole week off you know stuff like that I need to practice against um, who do I need to practice against I need to do some king practice too. Yo, death is my job. Thank you. <laughs> How do you donate bits? I mean, in the chat, the bits are in the um, chat box to the right. It should look like a little crystal. If you want to donate bits, then click on that crystal and go through that process. But thanks anyways, um, Ritik Mukta, hope I'm not uh, butchering your name, I probably am, but please forgive me. <clears throat> please forgive me. Wonder if, uh... 
There was a character that I was trying to practice like burning knuckle setups on and I completely forgot which character it was. I wanna know if it's Lee or is it um I mean let's see. Might be Lay or something. No, 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 it's Drag. That's who it is. That's who it was. A character that's pretty much a thorn in everybody's side. <laughs> Not just me, but everybody. The character's a problem, obviously. Yo, it's man. Thanks for the host, bro. Welcome back. <laughs> All right. I got this new powerful PC. I don't have any mods. I need to do that before my next stream. I need to um, get some mods back on here. I deleted all of them, you know, from my uh, laptop. And I haven't like converted them over to the um, the desktop I forgot what he's what is he supposed to do <laughs> That's the combo. How you feeling, champ? Lil Midge left, Lil Midge, he he, Lil Midge right. Yo, it's man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 18 months strong. <laughs> I love that combination of emos, by the way, with the Armor King arms. I can't do the JDCR, I'm not that good. Yo, Onikuma92, thanks, welcome to the stream. I'm just chilling right now, trying to, um, let's just put counter hit on. Do a little burn knuckle. Burning knuckle. Who remembers Streets of Rage? <laughs> the main character actually had a burning knuckle. He actually said Bernie Knuckle on Streets Rage 3. I don't know what in the world he was saying on, on 2. But, you know, Ratata or something, the Pokemon, I don't know. But anyways, let's see here. Negan's Ford 2 plus 3 is underrated. Hanzo avoids like Paul's shoulder. Yo, um, Goja, no, I don't, I don't have the permission to restream the, the LCQ or any of that footage. I can try and get permission though. I can, uh, after today's stream, I could send them a, um, like a DM on Twitter or something. Hey, uh, Harada, do you mind if I restream that? I'll probably get that picture as a reply <laughs> with the t-shirt, you know? I actually have that t-shirt. <laughs> By the way, I actually have that. It was given to me by a uh, shout outs to Chris Seg. Great guy. He sponsored me for uh, Summer Jam last year. Got blown away, but still, you know, I appreciate it. Do you think playing popular characters are harder since everyone knows the matchup? It's only harder if you play like a flow charty way. Like if you play, you know, King for example. Everyone in the world knows about King. Everyone knows to expect grabs, so it's pretty natural for people to, you know, just duck. Duck, duck, duck after every other move. Like you get hit by two, one, you expect giant swing, you're gonna duck. Back, you know, one, two, um, anything pretty much if he's coming in you know four four one is 
Nine times out of ten, gonna be the move for approach. Either dead or running three. Um, at range two, you're gonna expect some down four and forward two. You know, walking right. But if you're just, you know, unconventional, unpredictable, it's not gonna be hard. It's actually gonna be easy. I win a whole lot of sets, you know, in tournament play just by playing my normal game because my normal game doesn't revolve around throws with King. I don't usually throw a lot. I still don't. I want to do it more, but there's like that fear in the first to two set where, you know, one grab gets ducked, you get launched, you know, you go to the wall, everyone, you know, is going to land the combo. So it's like this taken here is revolutionary in that sense like the, even like the brand new players even they have the execution to do complete combos you know so even in like a, a first to two set against a random joe schmo i'm kind of afraid to use a lot of grabs you know because you know what they know the limited knowledge they have of king you know duck you know duck launch and they're gonna do it they're gonna get the combo they're gonna get the wall ender and they at least know you know the, the 50-50s you know the okie on wake up after the wall ender and they're gonna you know apply it and you know I can't see 50-50s you know no one can it's just tough this is a hard game <laughs> taking is really difficult man my combos are terrible Okay, that's one of the harder combos to do. You know, it's, I, I done kind of lost track of what I was trying to do. Dude. Okay. Wait, I thought I... No, I didn't turn counter hit on. Okay, that was the back row. Try to lay back row. Okay, it does not work. That was tech row to the right. Let's try to take row left. Okay, let's try the late text. You know, late text is kind of a thing. Okay, okay, late take, late taking. <laughs> no working. Ah, okay, still doesn't work. You have any tips on doing running one plus four before it's spin in a combo? What in the world is um that? Yo um Lagos egg. This is what I prefer. You know. This sticker here is probably why I prefer it. <laughs> but anyways, um PS3 pads were great, but um, I just, you know, I usually just play with whatever controller that the console comes with. There is like a slight problem though with like these colored PS4 pads. It seems like the directional pads aren't that great. And the double buttons are not always as responsive. I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe I need to go back and get a generic black one because I know that the parts of those are like OG if you know what I mean but anyways um thank you for being my Tekken inspiration and welcome back oh Joey Fury what's up bro welcome display lag yo long time no see yo guys stream now join me in uh, giving some Shout outs to Display Lag, aka Four Root. I probably butcher your name every time I say it. Um, yo, Ritic. I'ma just say Ritic before I just butcher the rest of your name. Thanks for the cheers, bro. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. But um, yeah, Display Lag, aka Four Root. Um, the man single-handedly got me 
you know, straight. Straight on the Akuma matchup. Thanks to him, you know, I was able to beat up Super Akuma in the Evo last year. Well, not last year, but this year. Wow, well, getting the years mixed up. But this year, yeah, I beat Super Akuma. 2 0. Thanks to him. So give this guy some thanks. <laughs> Yo, Joey. I'm glad I'm not the only one who's thinking it. I think Gamryu is on his way, like, right after the TWT finals are over. I think um, they're going to obviously show some, you know, Leroy Smith gameplay. And right after that, you know, you know they're going to do the usual, you know, that's it, guys, and try to walk off the stage. And then, oh, but wait, there's more, you know. Ganryu, new look, new moves, gray in his hair, probably got a beard like your boy. <laughs> oh boy, I cannot wait to see like what they do with Ganryu. I cannot wait. We need more wrestlers, yeah, definitely. I can't wait. Doing the Lord's work, beating Super Akuma. <laughs> Oh boy, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. I like that is my number one pick for like guest characters, at least now. At first, my number one pick was Army King for obvious reasons, <laughs> but now uh, Ganryu, he needs to be back. And after him, I don't care who they put in. You know, Wang Jinray, maybe maybe Wang Jinray. You know, just for having that um, that last character to be someone who's completely unique from the rest of the cast. I want uniqueness. I don't want Bruce Irving back. I don't want, you know, what Josie replaced to come back. You know, that's just not what I want. Let's try this one more game. Yo, Brandon. Thanks, bro. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Seven month streak of 17 months. Thank you, bro. Yo, we got to link up again, Brandon. We haven't seen you in probably a year now. It's been a while. It's crazy that I have, like, fellow Memphians in the chat that I haven't seen in forever. I'm looking at you, Brandon. You know. Miss you, bro. You really do. How do I feel about the Akuma wave? Um, Hanzo, yeah, if you, yeah, post, post the, um, schedule. I know, uh, the TWT, at least here in Memphis, it's going to be like 11 p.m. tonight, Central Time. But, you know, everyone else has, you know, different regions, obviously. But anyways, um, anyways, Akuma wave, I don't really call it a wave. These guys probably have been playing with Akuma since he, you know, came out in Faded Retribution. They just weren't, you know, seen in the public as they are now. You know, a Teeth Bud, a Wise Honey, you know, all the other Pakistani Akuma players, you know, they... They were in the limelight, like how they are now. So, these couple of years that have went by, you know, I think, what was it, 2017? Early 2017, since the game's release. They've been playing with that character, obviously. They just haven't been traveling. Now they're traveling, and all of a sudden, there's an Akuma wave. Nah, it's not. It's not. It's like if all the king mains in the world just started... Thank you for you know using the traveling character in Tekken. to events and somehow win. You know that's easier said than done, but you know start to win. Then it's all of a sudden a king wave. No, no, it's just people that have always been playing the Kuma, finally being able to travel and do work. They're doing the work. Yo, Armor King, thanks, bro. I need to um, also see. 
Wait, let's turn this off. Cause I think dragging off doesn't get hit by 100% of the time. Yeah, so if you don't do the micro dash, it's really depending on what move you counter hit him out of. Let me see. That might be it. No? Yeah, Dragon Off is a character you have to micro dash. Alright. But the micro dash is not that hard. Just have to stop being so lazy, I guess that's it. Hell yeah. What do I expect a hope out of a um, balance patch? I want some like quality of life changes, really. Like, I don't know if I can recreate it, but there's like this glitch with the camera where if you sidestep or move, the camera just goes out of control and you don't even know which side of the screen you're gonna land on and it messes up your button inputs like I can't tell you how many times I've tried to like sidestep something and I actually do sidestep and the camera goes crazy I try to hop kick and King hop kicks backwards <laughs> he really hop kicks backwards so I'm like Please get rid of that glitch. That glitch was not present in Tekken 5 nor Tekken 6. I think it started in Tekken Tag 2 and they, you know, they never did anything about it. <clears throat> Yo, display lag. Yeah, good thing I got tons of Pakistani Akuma experience. Oh, it doesn't matter to me what, like, the playstyles necessarily are. It's just knowing what the character can do to you and at what times knowing which you know which distance is greater which you know okie to go for what he can do as long as i know the options and stuff i can do well not saying i'm just guaranteed to beat every akuma on the planet no but i'm saying you know that experience is better than not having any experience going into a matchup against a character like that you know what i'm saying so that that goes, you know, the same for any character on the game. I just need experience, more experience. When you, once you get experience, you know, then you can lose knowing how you lost and why you lost. You know, you can play your best. Because when you don't know something, it affects your gameplay, like even your basic stuff. It makes you drop the most simplest of combos, like this, you know. You can even drop this when, you know, you're unsure about a certain matchup. That stuff really, really, really matters. <laughs> Yo, um, SP, I'm not a young god. <laughs> I'm old and withered. Getting towards the end, man. <laughs> I'm not young anymore. I wish I was still young, then I'll probably be winning more, but you know. Oh well. I can still, I can still, you know, wax some people at this age with these withered reactions i can still throw some hands you know <laughs> they teach us old god yes <laughs> hello capable slaves what's my day job i have a night job said fedex you've heard of it okay but anyways um I think I've missed some important stuff, yo. Recon, thank you. Seven months. Wow, seven for seven. Did you like the anti Akuma guide? I didn't. I didn't watch. I didn't get a chance to watch it, Armor King. But what's my name? You know. <laughs> I need to um, take a look at some more of your most recent uploads, but. I do appreciate everything you're doing for like the Tekken community, Armor King. I really do. More people need to see what you do because you have the nice, you know, breakdowns and 
videos you thoughts of of himself you know obviously j king quite a few more i know boxer king isn't as active as he used to be but yeah you guys are the goats you know really really appreciate what you're doing but anyways dj buster rut <laughs> thanks and welcome back i know i haven't seen you in a while at least not in this stream i've been watching a few streams and you'll post every now and again but you know stuff happens that combo does not work but anyways yeah like i said quality of life um let me um Don't King. I believe that was preset four. No, it's five. Where is Steve Fox? It's like quality of life stuff that's not just for King, it's for everybody, you know. Anyone who it may pertain to. I want stuff like that out of the game, you know. Alright. That is not what I wanted to do. Okay, so while Steve is doing, you know, one, two, one, obviously three highs. And if your character has a full crouch down forward move, you know, King has three of them. <laughs> but anyways, um, you can't do the move for some reason if it's, you know, in between the strings. See, he's always going to go for the stupid jabs most of the time. I don't know why that glitch happens. You have to completely wait until the jab is done before you can do it. Instead of being able to do it in between. Yeah, like, that happens sometimes. More times than it should, actually. I want the gut punch to come out every time. See, why is down jab coming out? And, um... I don't know why that's a thing. You have to wait. When, you know, if it was a while standing one plus two, you don't have to. You can just come up at any time. You'll never get the glitch. But obviously, while standing two is a slower launcher. I want the fast launcher. <laughs> but yeah, that is a glitch that I wish would be gone alongside of the, the camera glitch. I don't know why the camera spins out of control when you sidestep certain moves and, you know, you have to really wait and when you wait to see what side of the screen you're on it might be too late to actually get the punish so stuff like that is what i would like to see gone some quality of life stuff and across the board i would like to see some um like mids actually being mids and not being able to be crushed regardless of how high the, the mid looks because um steve for example he can um he can back two under a lot of mids let me see if i can do it He can in, be in between like one two uh, one and one two one one. It'll be better if I just um, pick Steve. But Steve is just one of many characters that this applies to. I don't like to see mids get crushed. You know, that's obviously gonna hurt King too, cause his while standing two and uh, Atlas Hammer they do crush mids. You know, certain mids, not all of them. Let me see. Yeah, like, why is the hitbox for 
King's uh, 10 string different than the regular down four one. Down four not one will never get crushed. <clears throat> I said down four none. <laughs> never, never, ever get crushed by back two or ducking uh, to skyscraper, whatever. But the fourth hit Duncan would be dead without King. Thank you for using him at LIL <laughs> underscore Majin. Yo, thank you, um, Shazam. But anyways, yeah. I use King because I love King. I love pro wrestling. King is like the best pro wrestling character ever. You know, in any fighting game, in my opinion. It's just my opinion. A close second would be Wolf Hawkfield from Virtual Fighter. But why is it that the fourth hit of 10 string can be crushed. Really the um the third he could be crushed too if you time it. They're mids. They're two mids in a row with really 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 high hitboxes. Crazy. Ryder from KOF Ryden is okay what I'm I'm not the biggest fan of um you know uh wrestlers like that like the big man with the mask i was never a huge vader fan not really vader was amazing though don't get me wrong vader was amazing amazing really ahead of his time but um you know i'm not just the biggest fan of wrestlers like that that take after vader but um yeah i'm more like the rock and you know, the wrestler whose name I cannot speak, but I can say Daniel Bryan though, the, the light version of, of the guy I cannot speak. <laughs> but anyways, um, Wolfgang Krauser, see, wrestlers like that, those 2D games, you know, they got powers and stuff, you know, genocide cutters and stuff, I'm good. <laughs> but, um, yeah, King, um, but King yeah, alongside many other characters. Character. I just don't understand why he has mids that can be crushed by stuff. And look at this. This is a knee that obviously mid, super mid, but for whatever reason, let me try and crush under it. Look at that. Why? don't understand it he has some hitbox issues really really you always wonder what my thoughts were on John Cena okay so John Cena much like Roman Reigns they're booked to be really really strong but in my opinion, you know, John isn't a bad wrestler. What's bad is how they book him. What's bad is how they write him, you know, how they script everything. How they only let him use, you know, the infamous five moves of doom, you know. Same for Roman Reigns, because I know it's a it's a big business, it's a TV show, the you know, the product is it's real, you know, time sensitive. So you don't have enough time, you know, in every single match to do every single move in your repertoire. So you're gonna have to make your opponent look good. You know, the person across the ring from you, they do 100,000 moves. And then if you're supposed to win, you're just gonna come back with like five or six moves and then you win, just like that. That's like the formula for wrestling. One, it's like one-on-one -on -one wrestling if you guys don't know about that but um if you guys have ever watched like john cena in the indies you know before he you know became a name john cena you know when he was the prototype and stuff like that you know he had really really good mat wrestling ability you can't be a bad wrestler and make it to televised wwe it's impossible you have to be good first 
But once you get to the main roster, they destroy you. <laughs> so if you're an aspiring wrestler watching this stream, you know, you want to make it to the WWE, you know, you're going to be as good as they script you to be. You're going to do as many moves as they script for you to use, you know. It's just that simple. John Cena sucks because of how they booked him. That's plain and simple. Roman Reigns, too. The guy, when he was Layaki and in NXT, he was really, really good. He had, you know, a whole lot more, you know, swagger about him and move sets, you know. But once he made it to the main roster, he kept a little bit of that. But once he was the man, you know, they the teardown began. It's just what it is. That's what wrestling is. Yeah, it's it's scripted, you know. You're only as strong as they make you. And uh, Shazam, what character is King's worst matchup? Now on the surface, you know, I can't be completely, you know, the good, super optimistic guy. I'm going to tell the truth. All right. So on the surface is Ling Zhaoyu, you know, round of applause, round of applause. I finally admitted it. But anyways, if you don't know how to fight Ling Zhaoyu, you're going to get killed easy. And in fact, you know, Armor King, let's, um, let's go to this matchup here. Armor King, I'll pick Ling. I'll pick Ling. Armor King on the surface is obviously, you know, gonna have an easier time dealing with her because almost all of his mids, you know, can deal with the problem at hand, which is AOP. So, let me see here. Down for one, down for one, down two, down for it, you know, the knee. Even back to all right. Let's see. After getting hit twice, I can finally go to AOP. Look at that. AOP is just getting beat out. Even you know, down four, three, back two. Pretty much all of his mids hit her out of it. So. On the surface, he's gonna be, you know, an easier matchup. If you play with both kings, then even I would suggest using Armor King. Now, me personally, what I'm gonna do when I fight Ling is I'm gonna still pick King because I don't necessarily struggle with that matchup, you know. Not offline, at least online, anyone whoops me with any character, but barring, you know, online shenanigans and connections and all that good stuff when i fight ling offline it may as well be armor king on the screen because i know how to work the magic with king it's all about your timing you know you can't just do stuff and attack as soon as you get the the turn to do it it's all about knowing you know the, the player that you're up against and the tendencies you know when are they gonna go for aop and you know, pretty much just doing the safest bet, pretty much, if that makes any sense. That it's gonna, if you guess wrong, lead to, you know, the least amount of life lost. So, yeah, with King, yeah. You just have to know. Kodokor owns Lil Majin. I haven't fought her in a tournament in this game yet. And I've only played her online and offline i've only played her once and that was at e-league <clears throat> but um that was in casuals and if i remember correctly i may have edged out but it was like a first or three or something like that we had to go it can't really count that but um <clears throat> this year though cut a cord does own little Maja. she's at the lcq i'm here talking to you guys <laughs> 
But anyways, uh, what's up, Stormy? Ah, uh, you main both. Just play your game, Kage, and try your best not to make bad decisions. Know your ranges. You know, don't attack at a distance where you know your move is not going to even connect. You know. It's like a lot of simple stuff that a lot of the, you know, the player base fails at when it comes to tournaments. Not playing your game, you know, dropping combos that are gonna, you know, pretty much end the round, you know. Quite a few things. But I suggest, you know, at least go to throw breaking practice, you know. Do that, get your execution down. And just don't play dumb. That's all I can say. Don't play dumb and try to, like, pick up on bad habits, like, immediately, as soon as you can. That's why I always go for, like, Giant Swing is my go-to grab, just to see if you're going to break it. If you don't break it, then, you know, that's like a a big sigh of relief for me. I'm like, oh, he can't break Giant Swing, then this is mine. <laughs> but anyways, um, no, no, I, I have not ever played Looney Lily. Never played anyone from Pakistan, not to my knowledge, at least. But yeah. King's worst matchup on the surface is Ling. But, like I said, I don't have a problem with that character. Not me personally, but, you know, the majority of the King community does. So, have to address that elephant in the room really have to all right let me see if um well I just confirmed the same thing I don't know what I'm thinking about Looney Lily also oh, female player <laughs> have I ever played mr. taxi Do you usually practice at tournament day or do you get burned fast? So, K, so Kage, Kage, has to be Kage. Kage, what I usually do on tournament day is walk around and scope out the competition, see how everyone's playing, and just enjoy talking to the people that. You know, I haven't met or the people that are, you know, longtime friends or fans or what have you. I try to enjoy the the social aspect of tournaments a lot more than just, you know, sitting down and playing a ton of casuals with everyone under the sun. But um, after my Evo performance, there was, even before my Evo performance last year, it was a lot and a lot and I mean a lot of like selfies I took with fans or you know autographs I signed on you know joysticks and pictures what have you merchandise that's usually what I do at tournaments I just walk around you know take selfies talk to people mingle that's all I do just interact with the people who love Tekken so it's not so much of a um, just playing casuals to you know better my chances I have like <laughs> some of the worst tournament prep ever like amongst all of the known players my tournament prep isn't like theirs I'm more chill more laid back Welcome to the King of Iron Fist tournament seven. am I going to yo beauty what's up girl How's it going? Yeah, I'm going to KIT. Are you going to KIT? <laughs> Actually, let me see. Is anyone on? Because I freaking hate rank mode. Ah, uh, my friend is on. 
Destiny. I haven't fought Maven in a while. Not not a lot in season two even. But um let's see. I give it a go anyways. Good old ranked mode. What's up, Metal Cat? What's going on, lady? All right, beauty. That is good to good to hear. I wish they would fix this move here too, because you don't always get. The alley kicks guaranteed. Do not know why. Like if they lay there, a lot of times it just whiffs for no reason. I don't understand that. Man, my wave dashing is terrible. You're making the switch to PC, Jermanji? Cool. I'll be here. Get some more Yoshi versus King battles. We don't see that a lot, do we? Oh boy. Trying to practice something. Cross dash, muscle buster, so difficult. So, so difficult. And the, the guaranteed, um, Back turn three is so difficult too. If you miss it, you get punished. That's another, yeah, that is another quality of life glitch that I wish would leave. For whatever reason, if you catch them back rolling with the back turn three, you don't get the, um, the stunner. I don't know why at max distance you don't get the stunner. It's not max. Yeah, like right there, you can't get it. The character should automatically like teleport into your arms. It's like, uh, well, four or three doesn't have a lot of range, anyways. It's it's range. Like King, his his like character model has been nerfed. He used to be a lot bigger than this. I don't know why his character model got so small. So that's like a big range nerf on a lot of things. Like forward two. He didn't used to have it anyways in prior Tekken, but like with Armor King and Tag 2 and Tekken 6, that move would hit from like right here. But in this game it's you know it whiffs a lot. Some characters can just backdash and be gone out of there. <clears throat> yep. Kyrie, what's up? What's up? What's up? Is King of Mishima? No. You said, can you see a rolling death cradle? There's a rolling death cradle on someone who can't fight back, but, um,. All right, let's try. I know what I can do. Let's just fight a random person. But um, before I do that, I do want to just talk with you guys, mainly besides just playing matches upon matches upon matches upon the matches. We're on Earth. Oh boy. Let me see something. Yeah, 
Yeah, I have a few like content ideas that I've actually had for a long time since like season one, but I never ever like came out with them. Ever. What's up, Talon? Sanctuary on Talon. What's up, bro? AJ. <clears throat> How's it going? Yo. If if Chantrion Talon would have fought just a little bit harder at Evo 2018, all of the greatness that happened afterwards, you know, what I did, it would have never happened. Because he almost took me out in pools. Yeah, a little FYI for you guys watching. Who's your rival? Well, crap, daddy. I have quite a few rivals um you know quite a few because there aren't too many players like at least in america that i have yet to beat you know there's a couple you know like i'm saying in the history of tekken in the history of tekken the one joey fear i've never beaten him in a set i fought him in two different tournaments I want to say. I know I fought him once. No, no, no. I fought him at least three times. I fought him once in Tag 2 at Rumble in the Tundra. Got body. I fought him another time at Absolute Battle. I think I dropped a combo or something in uh, like a game winning combo and he beat me. Then he whooped me when Craig came out at PAX. So I fought him three times. He's, you know, three and O against me, so no round brown or something, no games, James, <laughs> whatever. Joey is my master. But, um, Cuddlecore, I haven't fought her in Tekken 7 yet, but I did beat her at least once or twice in Tag 2, I don't remember. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I believe, um, Joey might be the only person in America I've yet to beat that I've actually fought multiple times like throughout Tekken's life span you know he's the only one he's the one if there's someone that can be called the Majin Killer it's Joey Fear at least in tournaments you know but anyways um go over LCQ brackets <laughs> I don't know LCQ let me fight somebody random. I remember when this game first came out, there was a random Brian player gave me the work quickly. It won like three games in a row and dip. And you know, I, I try my best not to look salty on stream, you know, I'm like, yeah, that guy was good. You know, that's my thing. I say that, you know, if you guys don't, don't know if you're new to this stream I, yeah this guy is strong you know whole time I'm thinking ah, you know <laughs> wait a second where is um where's the preset isn't King supposed to have nine presets why isn't that a preset on PC number nine is supposed to be the um Tekken 2 outfit Maybe I'm late. I'm late. Will I ever do a stream teaching you guys how to play with King? I want to do that in the form of a YouTube video. I'm still conflicted. I've been conflicted for like three years now on how to do like a King tutorial. Because obviously, you know, I don't want it to suck. I want it to be, you know, planned for. I have to plan for. I need to plan. That's exactly what it is. All right, let's pick an outfit. Okay, Red Tiger Man, a random outfit. It's a PS4 exclusive, okay. See, I thought that, you know, once the um, the patch came out that they were like, whatever, let's put all this stuff on. Oh yeah, net move there, back to one. I want the second hit to have a bigger hitbox, so. It'll be a lot easier to land in combos. Like, I don't know why the second hit misses. Really, the first hit missed right there. But well, let me try and get it to hit. 
Even the first hit is not hitting. But if you sidestep right into it, it's easier. So you guys who like the sidestep right hop kick, that's your combo afterwards. <laughs> as long as you're not too deep on their side, you'll be all right. Any Aeris subs? Yo, shout out to Aeris, you know. Aeris really, really helped <laughs> this stream here. Especially when I first started, he would host me like almost every time, you know. Almost every single one of his streams, he would host me. But anyways, um, did you guys watch his uh, video on why he didn't go to the um, finals? Man, I swear Aeris is like the best storyteller like ever in anything in any outlet well there's morgan freeman first and then there's Harris. <laughs> can't can't knock um morgan freeman like that his you know his vo's and everything are just great but if you watch that that was a good good story i was supposed to be live yesterday guys and i used that hour to watch his video instead because i was like i need to see this if it's anything like an error story then it's gonna be good, and I was not disappointed. <laughs> Man, I wish I could story tell like that. Ares is great. Uh oh, expert level proving for grounds. I don't know if you're watching the stream or not. You probably aren't. But um, let's see what you know. You know strings. As you should, you know, you gotta learn the move list. Wow, that wasn't even a combo. You got a tech bro, bro. Am I gonna try Leroy? Oh, you bet your bottom dollar. Yeah, I'm definitely. I've been waiting on that character for a long time. Wow. You know how to break giant swing. Okay. Or do you? Someone in the chat asked, when are you supposed to do the people's eyebrow? You're supposed to do it when you win against someone that's really, really good. Someone that's a threat after you have a good set. Did anyone watch King and Ashura? Type 1 if you've watched that anime before on Netflix. If you got Netflix, I really suggest you watch it. But um, there's a wrestler character on there. And he is like the epitome of what wrestling really is. Except he can actually whoop people in real fights. You know, anime, of course. Wow, a lot of you guys watched it. Nice. It was a good watch. I think it was like a... Like a Baki the Grappler light. But it's still really good. But anyways... Like, after watching him, it kind of just made me feel really secure in how I've been using the, the people's eyebrow and all that other, you know, good stuff, all the theatrics that I do that make you guys call me pretty entertaining. You know, that character there, what's his name, Seki Biyashi or something? Um, yeah. You gotta put on a show. I'm definitely trying to win. You know, this isn't the type of game where you can go easy on people and you know be a punching bag and just miraculously come back and win but you know i guess that's just how my luck is i'm able to get torn up pretty much <laughs> and make that comeback and the crowd just you know eats it up but king is great though king makes it so much better <laughs> Yo, the the Ploxer, yeah. Season three Baki is pretty uh, infuriating. You got a tech bro, man. Oh, he doesn't know the strings. He's new. He's gonna do a super, do something. Don't let me just kill you. He likes to slide. He ain't so cool. 
Well. Who's my dentist? Can I pass you his number? <laughs> well. <laughs> I don't think you want to come out here to to see the dentist. Wow, punish a hop kick with a hop kick. Who's the real expert here? Come on. I can't hit him with it. Oh. Break his ankle. You guys remember when Kurt Angle used to do that and it'll be completely over? <laughs> I used to hate it. Like... My favorite wrestlers would fight Kurt Angle. You know, you'll hold on to hope when he's standing up and doing an ankle lock, you know. But then when he like falls down on the ground on his back, you know, and just holds you like that, it's over. Like 10 times out of 10. I don't think anyone's ever escaped it. <laughs> all right, all right. Yo, red name guy, TK red name. Um, yeah, tone it down. Tone it down. We love you too, man. Thanks for being in here. Let's see if I can hit him with. Yes. I know he probably does not like that combo. <laughs> yeah, he's going to learn the uh, Oki system. He's going to learn it today. Ah, uh, he's learned. Yes. Wow. See, that's the thing. Checking. It is so difficult for a beginner. Super! Oh, he's got combo. See, that's exactly what I was talking about at the beginning of the stream, guys. Everyone has a combo. And they're gonna do it, because that's what they practice at least nine times out of ten. So when I tell you that I don't throw a lot in first or two sets, even against a guy like this, that's why. That is why. Yo, Chaos Breezy, thanks. All right, Atlas Hammer, I think it's time. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, good games, my friend. Let's return to warm up. Long time watcher, first time subscriber. Hey, take your time. I thank you anyways. Any tips for hit confirming down for two one? Well, ah, oh, this disconnection rate. Ah, oh, who cares? Give them a chance. Like I say, there's a sound cue and there's a visual cue. You get two cues. Visual cue is obviously when you see the opponent attacking. The sound cue is when you hear them attacking. Like you hear the character, you know, do their little war cry, ha, or whatever, you know. Once you hear and see, you hit one. Yo, Unforgivable Doragon, thanks with the Twitch Prime sub. Yes, I really appreciate it. Same to you and old lady, thanks for the sub. Oh, Julia, nice outfit. Dank. This is gonna be a fight here. Nice. What a name. Uh-oh. 
I was a little late on that break for a three bar. A little late on the confirm. Down we go. I couldn't block that anyways. Alrighty. Done it. That was terrible. Man, Julia can hurt. <laughs> yeah, Julia does hurt. What are you gonna do? I'm just gonna sit here. Oh, nice. Nice uh, call out on that. Fight. My call out was bad. Wow, very, very nice low parry. Low parry in the obvious stuff. Okay, lay there. Ew, that was nasty. Delicious Jacob. Jebuck. Yeah, Jebuck. I'm tripping. Get whooped and say the name's wrong. <laughs> All right. I think I'm missing key points in the chat. What are you guys talking about? Yo. Yo, thanks, um, Jabak, for all those gift subs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're going that way, yeah. Get ready, guys. It's a train. Wait, can you break giant swing? Uh oh. <laughs> oh. Wow, nice low parry. Okay, this guy knows how to fight basic flow Charlie King. Let's change it up a little bit. Let's go ham. No. Yes. Yeah, we're hearing dead a lot, and we're going that way a lot. Oh, the damage. Ugh. Look at that. Ugh. Oh, I tried. Oh, that's oh, that's really a combo. Nice. I gotta stop all that spin mix up stuff against people who mash like me. Just go for damage. They don't get up. Whoa. No break. <laughs> I'm using a uh, PS4 pad, my friend. Uh, Sergio. With a nice sticker from Flaming Toast. Check the sticker. Check the sticker. Let me put it all the way in the camera. Yeah. Looks eerily similar to the logo on the bottom right of the screen. Yes. How many subs was that? Thanks, um. Jabak. 
Round what? one. Fight. All of those gift subs. Well, all of you guys who got the gift sub, don't be shy to use those emotes. They're here for you. Oh boy. Ouch. Wow. Wrong with punish. Yeah, he had low health, so he should have just went for a um, a simple like pressure instead of backing off. Come on, give me a back one. Yeah, he is very patient. Nice jab. Woof. And the giant swing to the wall. Is he gonna get up? No, he isn't. Yeah, King's Rage mode is not to be trifled with, guys. You have to put him away. Put him away. Before he makes a crazy comeback like that. What are we gonna do? Oh boy. Ah, the sub train is, is out. Yo, thanks, Jabak. Thank you. Oh, nice. Oh, nice punish. KO. I knew better. Final round. Fight. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> I'm waiting on him to like do a, a duck launch or something, but he's not gonna do it. Whoa, random drop kick. Uh oh. Yo, I'm out of here. <laughs> Four for a neutral two saves today. LCQ tomorrow? The LCQ is tonight, bad guy hero. And I'm in Memphis. And they're in Bangkok. So. Needless to say, I'm not there. Which American player do you think places highest in TWT? I think it's going to be Anakin this year for obvious reasons. That guy's he's been on his grind, like, literally. Like, he is... Like, this year has been the year of Anakin. He hasn't slowed down at all. Stop hitting me. Ouch. Round two. Can't see lows like that online. Are you cheating? Well, you can see my lows, but that's different. That's a little different. Mr. Dank. Oh my god. Forward three. Man, that was a counter hit. Get 
get hit by that. Get hit by that. Get hit by that. <laughs> Doesn't get hit by any of it. Wow, you're good to be able to break grabs like that online. Not giant swing. Oh, you've been giant swing. All right. Oh, nice. Who is my pick to win the TWT? I honestly think it's gonna be Hawaii's honey. Honestly. Yeah, I do not think those guys are ready for that Akuma right now. Ugh. Okay, I don't think one plus four is trying to work today. Wow, that was a counter hit. Mr. Taxi beat Honey. Really? Well, Mr. Taxi isn't at the TWT finals either. Nice break, Oh, come on. Give me that counter hit. Darn it. The counter hit for the kill. Need it too easily. Was it easily or was it 10 9? I'm seeing different things in the chat. I don't know. Yo, Emery, what's up? What's up? Welcome, 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 my brother. Here I come. I see what you're doing, man. I gotta subscribe to your other uh, YouTube channel too, because uh, I know you have some some good content there. If you want to be a cop, watch Emery Reigns. Very nice. I'm glad the camera didn't like screw me over. Oh my goodness. What was that? You guys see that? Where's my 42's tracking? Where's the range on it? I'm gonna run. Just down jab. If you're scared, down jab. Round <clears> two. Fight. You had to take and grind. I still haven't been able to implement the uh, content ideas you told me about, but I do plan on doing it. Wow, the Atlas Hammer gets launched. KO. Round three. Fight. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I want to do that and then like report back to you, Emery, to see like how well it's going to do. Wait, what are you doing? Nice break. Nice break for me, too. Whoa, big ducking. <laughs> wow, committed duck, as they say. Do I accept the payment for training? At the moment, at this very moment, I don't. Um, I can see how, you know, it could turn up to be something quite troublesome. But, um... 
Once I figure out a way to do it, like efficiently, then I'll do it. But uh, right now, I haven't came up with like a formula to get these king players like yourself the best possible results listening to me. I know some people, you know, just watching my videos isn't enough. They need that, that hands-on. And I understand. I don't know, uh, Emery, maybe DOA will be that big one day. Because I thought we'd like the world tour and everything. It was good. DCR was talking shit about Thanksgiving turkey, so here's looking at you. <laughs> it doesn't crush highs. That's what I was waiting on. I don't know why they just throw out Rage Drive. I mean, it's really good, but it doesn't crush highs on startup. If it did, then it'll be something. Stop ducking. Wow, nice punish. Even though it was safe right there, I ducked because I knew he was going to go high. Nice duck. I'm not using any hit confirms. I'm just throwing out hell marriage. Wow, this wild carry. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> I knew the back roll was coming. That was great. How about some dank for dank? Get ready for the next battle, battle, battle. Yo, is Memphis Legends up in here? Yo, thanks. But, um, yeah, Emery, I think uh, DOA 6, it, you know, from the outside looking in and, you know, what little you guys showed me at the airport, it looks like a good game. It's just, um, it's not getting the backing that it needs right now. Round one. But some backing is better than none. I mean, you know, you're out here killing it on the commentary booth. And they have this, you know, these high stakes payouts, which are better than Tekken payouts, by the way. <laughs> yeah, we're going to break these throws. How about counter hit throws? Wow, this duck can get hit. Wow, nice low parry. Bad combo. Round <laughs> two. Fight. Man, I cannot block that low online. Wow, that was good. Yogan DeRay, thanks. Oh! Jesus. He came in right where I'm getting a big combo applied to me. Yes. Stop that. Yeah, that's what you have to do, uh, Dank. Just keep doing the 50-50s. Oh my god. Oh yeah, that's the second hit. I don't fight this character enough. But, thanks to Dank. I at least get a little bit more Julia experience.
Ugh. Just mash it out. Mash you Majin. Well, the alley kicks range was neutered right there for some reason. I'll take it. You think Tekken is a better game, huh? But that means a lot coming from you, uh, Emery. Oh, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. Oh, this is gonna hurt. The break. Uh, you have to think quick. You have to think and react quick. When you block kings 441, you don't react like instantly. The king can do a jab to interrupt like almost everything else, so. <laughs> I don't know, uh, Emery. I popped in your string. I think you were winning. Round one. If I remember correctly. Fight. Come on, duck. Alright, is he gonna go for a mix? No. I was still right that he was gonna do something that involved ducking right there. The respect. You have to respect the second hits. Ugh. Oh, no break. Well, you better tick. KO. Round two. Rear margin. Is that like a Japanese way to say my name? Rear margin. Oh God, I tried to do a capital punishment and got the capital punishment. You need to be a little bit more cheap with Julia. He doesn't do the uh, power crush. But I guess he doesn't need to if I just give him the damage. The goose chase, yo. Thanks. Imagine the last time I caught your stream was like at five months sub. I feel low. I am glad to see you again, dude. <laughs> Oh, he's doing it. The cheesy, cheesy, cheesy uh, wall bounce. Yeah, I know it's been a wild goose chase. I know you used to be called Wild Goose Chase. Yeah, I remember that name, dude. Uh, how many wall bounces do we need? Oh boy, I kind of let that one slip. Should have just let it rip. <laughs> Dang, that rhymed. Oh my goodness. Nice sidestep on Wake Up. I'm losing all this damage because of a stupid mistake. That's Tekken for you. Wow, a grab punish? I wasn't ready for that. Can I run up and hop kick? Oh, no, I cannot. You lose. Thank you, spirits. Buff Armor King, he needs some wild standing punish from maybe between 11 to 15. You think so, Emery? I don't know. Her damage is, I would say, relative. She isn't, you know, outpowering like Lucky Chloe or Steve or anything like that in combo damage. Or a lot of other characters for that matter. 
a lot of characters do a whole lot of damage on a wall. King has like a a normal a normal wall combo. Well, below normal. Oh boy. Are you talking about drag um, one three wall bounce? I don't know. I think they want him to have that. Honestly, I think they want him to keep that because they didn't change it. Um, they didn't change how guaranteed it was <laughs> after the first uh, patch where they nerfed uh, Kuma's meter. They didn't. They didn't take it away from him. Go for the easy kill. It wouldn't have killed. It wouldn't have even come close to killing if he would have just laid on the ground. Man, that is so tough to do. Yeah, jab into a perfect 4-4 uh, four, four Lucha 1 plus 2. He has just enough health to die from nothing because I got counter hit it with an execution error and I am so dead. Why didn't he why did you do such a terrible wall ender? I was super dead. You hate fighting Paul, his four 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 plus frames. It depends on the uh, the distance that you block it. The later you block his trooper roll, the more plus it is. So if you block it from like max distance, then you're really at his mercy. Yo, Dank, um, yo, thanks for watching. I know you're doing a pretty good job of stream sniping. I know that's the thing to do, but um, yeah yeah the connection is pretty bad we're both playing like you know lesser versions of ourselves oh yeah that string right there i'll probably never get hit by that offline but um oh yeah that low there is unblockable i guess mines are too so Ah, uh, the two breaks. Rainbow Fridge. Nice name, by the way. Yes. Is it gonna reach from that far? No, it doesn't. I tried. Ah, uh, you should've, like, tore me up. <laughs> For doing that crazy stuff. Wow, her back dash is better than I thought it was. Ah, oh, the wall. Yes. <laughs> no. Dropping combos. The workings of a terrible king player. Wow. Dropping combos still. You had a wall bounce. What did you do with it? Oh boy. Get murdered. Round three. Fight. Julia has a near eddy backdash. Yeah, I never knew it was this good in this game. It didn't used to be that good in previous techniques. Well, that was a impromptu combo. <laughs> Delicious Jabak, yo. I uh, thank you. I really do. With all these gift subs. Jesus. Let's go. 
Yes. What are you gonna do? <laughs> he always comes up with the elbow. I guess that's kind of smart knowing he's only plus one. Man, why are we going that way? Any new king tech? Not really, little Mahin. I really don't. I um have a little bit of clarity though if you want to hear that. Let's see if I can do it. That is not it. I'm trying to get a counter hit down for it too. Wow, Julia in her sidestep. Movement is great. You have good defense, but can you block that? Oh boy. The real King Channel. Oh, no break. Okay, I'll take it. Grabulator, thanks. Subscribing as I'm grabulating this Julia. The grab. Now you can't do that. Oh yes, a clip worthy combo, yes. Round three. Yes. Fight. That is not what I wanted. Come on, step something. Yes, mash it. Mash it like you mean it. <laughs> oh God. That's not what I wanted. Oh well, I'm trying to get counter hit push. You know what comes after that. Uh, you don't punish with the um with the god move julia has some really good punishment you can uh, definitely definitely get that down three into down four 12 into seven not a lot of damage <laughs> Whoa. Oh my god. Come on guys, let's hit a button. Let's hit a button. Uh, my 4-4 neutral twos are getting a little too um look there was the camera angle glitch guys. That's the one I was talking about. Like you see that? That sucked. Uh, that sucked too. Jesus. Get up or something. Ugh. What happened to the hurt boxes? Streams over. Streams over. I almost want to say that after a loss like that. Streams over, guys. I lost. Bye bye. Close everything out. Where is it? It's over, guys. Goodbye. Okay.
You at least hear the clicks. <laughs> no. Yes. Go for the cheese. The cheese worked. <laughs> what's up, um? Fight. <laughs> what's up? What's up? What's up? In veins. Scumbag. Use the grabs. Everyone always breaks. No one likes Bret Hart. No one likes getting hit by the sharpshooter. Ouch. Uh. Oh well. Connection issues, connection issues. That's my excuse. Uh, come on, hot kick. Ugh. <laughs> I got a uh, desperate. Let me get a will punish. Nah, that combo is impossible. Good lord. Wait, that's it? That's not punishable? What? Or is it just negative 10? That was a really bad, what you call it. Ugh. And he ducked. Yo, D-Town's king, yo. Thanks. Thanks for the sub, bro. <clears throat> yeah. Just go for what's gonna kill because you know making a bet like that isn't worth it. You can lose the whole match. Make you wanna just throw your controller off to the distance and just turn the PlayStation off by unplugging it. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Yo, D Town's King, are you are you not on PC or are you only on PS4? Round one. I gotta fight that Nina someday. Yes. No. No, but go with the flow. And the break. Oh no. <laughs> I have the life lead. I have no reason to to show up to the party. But can I just do a jab? Jab. That's all you need. When you have the life lead, hit them right where it hurts, right in the face. And in their hopes of dreams of trying to make a comeback. <laughs> That's where you hit them at the hardest. Hop kick. Ugh. 
Yes. No. I tried. You saw the micro step? I'm still Majin. I'm still good. I'm still all right. Oh, God. All right with these counter hits. Wow. That was excellent, Dank. A Dank combo from Dank. Damn it. Stop all that ducking. <laughs> what are you doing? Whoa, what happened right there? It just didn't register buttons. I'm supposed to have buttons. Uh oh, Beethoven is calling. All the hitboxes are just not there. Yes. And no. I'll take it. Get up. <laughs> and no rolling death cradle. But we get one of these. Yes. <laughs> oh, ain't nothing like some good old school margin tech. <laughs> Alrighty, all right. Good. What just happened, Appleberry Kitty? I already said it. Good old school margin tech. Not tech that was invented, you know, in this game. I'm talking about tech that was invented in many iterations ago. A lot of times I forget about it myself, but you know. It happens when you know it almost almost every single thing when it comes to king tech. Alright, guaranteed moon salt. Bad while standing two. Okay. Whoa. You see the hitbox on that push? It was like nowhere. Wow, your blocking is amazing, dang. Run up alley. Cause that's the only thing I know how to do. L train, what's up my brother? The Lars of America. I hope our video actually uh, kept you out a little bit. I don't know. You never um, told me about that. Mainly because I never asked. <laughs> but anyways. Man, that low is unblockable. What about mine? Yes, it is. We're just doing unreactable lows online because we can. Unreactable. Well, it's unreactable. If you punish it wrong, you get punished. I like the sound of that. KO. This man's doing strings. Freeze. Fight. What? Well, I didn't know her hurt boxes were so bad. Get man, tracking needs to be better on ground throws. Oh my god, I got hit by the mix. The taken one mix. <laughs> what does she have? Okay, nothing too spectacular. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I don't know what to do with my plus. Yeah, just stick to down forward two. Uh, uh. Oh my 
goodness. Oh boy, oh my god. Yes. <laughs> the respect from Wildstead in 2, the first hit, is just amazing. <clears throat> yeah, SP, yeah. You sloppy, Holmes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, online three bar connections tend to do that. I got all the excuses, Mr. What's that? Shaolin? Shulin? Whatever your name is. For real, for the last one, can't do this connection. It hurts your soul. I'm sorry, bro. The games were good, though. I need to go and practice stuff that I probably should have been practiced against Julia. Did you abandon your flight to Thailand also? <laughs> nice question there. <laughs> Pancake mix, no. No, I didn't. I never had a flight. Yeah, since the last stream, you know, it's been uh, a lot going on. Whoa, what happened to my tracking? I want a rage drive to miss somewhere. Time <laughs> I knew the 443 was coming. Round two. Fight. It's all good, Shaolin. You can't always play to optimal proficiency. Look at this, is it, is it looking good? Uh oh. I absolutely love to see that combo, even when it's done to me. All right, I was gonna say, you're one counter hit down for it two away from dying against King in season three. They're really season two as well. Oh my god, that was garbage. Not the ender I was hoping. Come on, get hit by that. Yes. That's how you do a micro dash, ladies and gents. No break. Time to pay. Wow. I need to pay to get a new controller. Oh, the combo. Someone please clip it. No cross up. Well, why did I let it not let it real? <laughs> the, the late, late then bake. All right, well, good games, Dank. I think I might be late to the party on something, guys. Stream, do you guys know? Why do so many Tekken players have a, um, a TK underscore in front of their name? Am I missing something by not having TK underscore, little underscore, or margin as my name? That's all good, too, the, um, too dank. Yeah, connection is, you know. But we still made it work, you know. You're going to be dank the guy tomorrow, by the way, on my YouTube channel, just, just so you know ahead of time. But anyways, um, <laughs> yo, thanks for that gift sub to L Train. Yo, Linnell, congratulations, by the way. I seen you, you know, 
you're very, very happy in what you're doing in life. You know, you got the new addition to your support team, man. I, I really like to see that. And it's, <laughs> it's affecting your gameplay just like it affected mine. For the better, obviously. So, yeah, that is, that's always a good thing to see people, um, you know, get hooked up and come up. Who do I think is winning the TWT? I think a wise honey is going to win. And so I have three, three people that I believe are going to take it all. It's, it's going to be between honey, knee, and Anakin. Those are the three, I believe, like based on how they're playing. Like, I think one of those three is going to take it all. I really do. That'll be a thing to do, um, Dank. You're not going to KIT by any chance, are you? Yo, Kyrie, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna give it a try. Guilty Gear Strive 2020, whatever it's called. I'm gonna give it a try. See. See if it's any good. Even though I know it's most likely gonna be not up to my standards for Guilty Gear. You know, because I've played every Guilty Gear ever. And it's just unfortunate to see a once very difficult game, you know, revert down to, well, not revert, but regress to what it is now. But, um, nevertheless, you know, Chip and Potemkin, they're on the game. I'm going to play it. Don't know for how long, but yeah, I give it a try. But um, mix box, hit box. Someone asked that earlier. All of the boxes I haven't um tried any of them. Like not seriously, I've you know held one and hit buttons on it, but I haven't um. I guess that's all you do on a hit box, anyways. But I haven't actually you know like went to practice mode and tried it. <clears throat> Big money margin with the super clean stream. Yo, thanks, um, Neo Sean Woo. Man, we got a kick it at KIT. Are you going to KIT? All right. So, I want to say, um, let me see. Turn counter hit on. For all you guys who don't do the micro dash or you're fighting a female character. I do know now for certain that alley kick is guaranteed after the people's elbow from counter hit um down for two one. I know it's peanuts now after you know I unveiled the Majin Tech burning knuckle setup, but um it is something to do. You see, but that is not down for it too. I need a new pad. Oh my god, what just happened right there? What is going on here? <laughs> How is that whiffing? <laughs> oh god. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I've seen that habitual sidestepper. I've seen the um, the new pad that Markman has been advertising like a lot on Twitter. <laughs> but like fight pads, a lot of the times I just don't like the look of it. When I look at it, I don't like the uh, D pads on most of them. They're all like together instead of like, you know, separate, separate buttons like the PS4 controller. I believe, if I remember correctly, the Ryan or whatever it's called had a, like, one big button for the D-pad. That is weird. Why is Ling getting hit like that? Just mash it. This must be a season three bug or something. That's supposed to hit you. Let's pick another character. Another small character, maybe Eliza or something. 
sucks when you try to show people something and, and the game just says, forget that. Let me show you something. Let's see here. Counter hit is on. Let me just turn counter hit off. Do things the old fashioned way. Wow, what? All right, guys, technical difficulties. <laughs> Let's see if that works. So right there, if you do alley kick instantly, of course it's going to miss if they back roll. However, if you do like a micro dash, the alley kick is guaranteed. I don't know if I'm going to be able to just do it. Let's see. Right there. Okay. So let's try and do it. If I try to stand up. If I stand up and get hit back turn, then you'll see what I mean. Okay, I didn't get back turn hit. Oh, boy. It's like with every patch, something gets ninja nerfed, and you just don't even realize it. Did they take away the people's elbow on everybody? I hope not. That's been like my go-to against certain certain characters. Let's try this. DS4 is poor quality, and I <laughs> I've been repping it like no tomorrow, Kyrie. I've been playing faithfully, religiously, all the leads and <laughs> PS4 for Tekken. Let me see, that was not it. That is so hard to land. No, 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 that was not it. Well, my discoveries are easier said than done. <laughs> trying to get it to hit but my recovery timing is hold on let me turn counter hit off one more time well by turning it back on don't get lost in the sauce I want to play with Steve sometimes he's so cheap no that is not what I wanted it's so hard to hit four buttons together. I think that might be it. Maybe. Maybe not. Season three is wild. <laughs> That's all I can say. Certain stuff is just not working. What are you guys in here talking about? Controller still? Yeah, the LCQ is gonna start. Well, depending on where you are in America, in probably six more hours, but um, over here I got seven more hours. But I'm gonna be at work, so I'm gonna miss it. You guys are gonna see who wins the LCQ. Save my life. I'm not a real Steve. All right, all right. <clears throat> yes, I do, sir. Beta. Yes, I do. 
third shifts. Ugh. I'm not going to say what I really want to say. That combo is also very hard. Steve. Good to see you're doing good, miss, watching you, but G2 Grams. Yo, thanks, um, Yori. What's that? Ion Yonix. I'm terrible with names today. Please forgive me. Does that even work on King? Probably doesn't work on King. Well, I'm just terrible. Because I'm streaming. But if I'm in practice mode, it lands all day. Yeah, that's that's a combo I can't do right now. <laughs> new to the channel, you love the new the YouTube. Okay, Doc Rive 1507. Thanks, thanks. If you're from the YouTube channel, watching all of my fights where about 80% of them I'm getting my tail kicked into the ground. Looking like that dog that's um trending right now in the news with a tail on his head getting whooped inside out and outside in <clears throat> have I ever considered manning another character over the years <laughs> no no I haven't King is just so awesome dude you know he's got everything I need as a competitor you know like even if I wanted to be like a a quote unquote tier whore, I would go to King. <laughs> if I wanted a character that, you know, not everyone is just easily winning with, I go to King. If I want a character with the most technology, the most shenanigans, I go to King. I go to King for everything. Even my paychecks. I go to King. King has R. You know. I'm two dollars short. R. You know. Don't understand a thing he's saying, but for some reason of taking care of this dude, but that's besides the point. No, I'm not gonna main anyone else. Armor King, no. Yeah, they they do collect rent. <laughs> I wouldn't say King is the most buffed in season two. I would say um, he's one of the most buffed. <laughs> it isn't that many um, lead blasts. <laughs> I'm a King fan, but I'm not like that type of fan. You know, like certain people have like those little pops figurines like everywhere shrines and all that i don't even have a jaguar mask anywhere in this place like nowhere no jaguar mask no wrestling championship belts or anything like that i'm just a fan by the you know the game you know the game's gameplay or whatever and what king can do and how i can stunt on people for you you know that's that's how much of a fan I am. I'm not the biggest fan in the world of King. But I do love him. King has made me a lot of money. <laughs> a whole lot. Don't go to Google and look at my uh, esports earnings. I think about... Hmm... 90% of it isn't even on there. So, just think about how much King has really paid me. Of course, it was both of us together, you know. It's my Pokemon. Rare Shinblade when you need him. How did I get it first try? Now I can't do it anymore. 
I don't even know the combo. Cthulhu the monster. What's up, bro? King got that under the table money. <laughs> Steve has the best rage drive. No. Even when it was uh, broken before they nerfed it, I still don't think it's better than King's rage drive. Mainly because of, like, utility. It doesn't do everything. Like, King's does, it does it all, you know. It's a combo starter. It's a combo extender. It's a ground hit, you know. It's plus frames on block. Uh, at max distance, it crushes lows. Yeah, you, some of you guys didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, it, it does it all. So... For a race drive like that, I don't think anyone else on the game has one that good. Of course, Oscar's is really good too. But definitely not better than the King. Alright, um RNG. Have a great one. Thanks for tuning in. But um yeah, I guess I'll just answer questions. I'm gonna do a video on that, like commonly asked questions, but it is good to do some just talking with you guys, even though it says Tekken 7 on the um, on the game. I probably need to change that for now. How do you change that? Let me change it. I'll lose a lot of my viewers, but that's okay. You guys need to know the truth. Anyone else hate the new Twitch layout? It's so slow loading and, you know, even confusing for a guy like me, a layman like me. All right. The deed is done. What's going on, Grand Kataro? What's up, bro? Am I Steve May? No. Yeah, yeah, Ash and his giant ball tell the chat, yeah. King has the best rage drive because it has the most utility out of all the rage drives in the game. You guys have heard me say that word countless times, but yeah, utility is really important. Steve, you know, his rage drive is no slouch either, you know. It's, it's definitely got a lot of utility. It's guaranteed out of, a, you know, after a lot of stuff. But, um... It doesn't hit grounded like how it used to. And even then when it did hit grounded, it wasn't always a relaunch. But you know, being guaranteed after stuff like that, that's really good. Now that one, that's a little bit more difficult, but it works. I'm gonna probably be trying this for a long time. Not getting my dashes. Ugh. Well, I guess it just doesn't work on King. <laughs> Shinblade, you get a point for that. Hey, Yachu's Rage Drive. It's not the same. It doesn't hit grounded. You know, it has to hit grounded. It has to, you know, pretty much be the combo starter, combo extender, you know, plus on block. And making moves that are normally not launchers, launchers. That, that right there is a biggie. Heiachi doesn't have a lot of moves where his raise drive turns it into a full-on combo, you know. <clears throat> yeah, dragging off too. His isn't, it doesn't give the same like hit stun every time that it hits like on grounded opponents it's not the same brian's too even though they are all like spectacular race drives is that not the combo i don't know what the combo is but yeah all of the 13 frame race drives are the best i believe uh paul has one it's Death Fist, his blue Death Fist might be 13 frames, I don't know. I really feel inclined to try it right now. 
Just cause. Well, I don't know my alphabets. All right. Yeah, the bears. Yeah, those are some really, really above exceptional raise drives. The only problem with it that I see is that, you know, when you do it at the end of a combo, it's almost not even worth it. But it does, you know, have a whole lot of utility. A lot. I'm so used to PS4. Well, I can't even do it. It might be 14 frames. Who else is excited for the um the frame data? The four dollar frame data that everyone hates. <laughs> Yeah, it's just 14. But I guess the guy that chat was talking about, uh, Rage Arts. Those are really good too, but they're all high. It's so hard to do that. I'm not gonna be able to do that one. <laughs> yeah, that is too difficult. You're so excited you had an angry um, blooper. Yeah, I don't think I could do it. Yeah, I know it's, yeah, thanks, uh, John. Doing that instant one frame quarter circle forward. Near impossible. There it is. Possible. I'm great. <laughs> there it is. A, the perfect death fish. The PDF. Wow, that's like a file for a, um, a document. <laughs> but yeah. Am I going to the TWT? It's actually tonight in Thailand. 12 hours from now, you know. That's how far the... Thailand flight is for me. It's actually more than 12 hours because I'm down here, but no, I'm not going. I'm just going to watch just like you guys and enjoy the show and see if I'm right about who wins. Perfect death fits, yes. You should restream it. So yeah, John, you're in with the uh, cool kids. Don't I have to have permission to restream the the finals? Like, if I do that, I'm not gonna get like in trouble or anything, am I? Because I know I've heard in the past that you have to have permission to like restream TWT events. I gave everyone the green light. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I probably, probably Sunday I might. But I know for certain, like, tonight, you know, I gotta go to work. Tomorrow, I'm probably gonna be gaming with the guys. And they're gonna have it on the big screen somewhere, so. Maybe the, the finals finals. I might do it. just to see hmm <laughs> oh yeah how do you get a girlfriend <laughs> well I'm not a you know a relationship doctor or anything like that but, you know, some advice that probably anyone would tell you, I would tell you because of how true it is, you know, just be yourself, <laughs> be yourself, um, be honest. 
be amazing. <laughs> you said you're just a TO, you don't want no parts of that. <laughs> All right, I hear you, John. Play King. Because, yeah, yeah, let me tell you a story about my girlfriend. I didn't even, like, tell her initially, you know, about Lil Majin and that character and everything involved with that character. It was just, you know, me being the normal guy that I am outside of the gaming realm, you know. And that's what she liked. That's what she loves, still loves, you know. But... The whole Majin character thing, that was something that I unveiled and, you know, she definitely was, you know, I guess super interested because it was out of her realm of things to do, like people making money playing video games, you know, what's that? <laughs> of course, nowadays, that's definitely more known, you know, but um, the only thing that you know, for me, that I had to really try to prove was that I was as good as I was saying. You know, because I'm like, yeah, I play, you know, I'm the best king player in, you know, the world. You know, and all that. And then we went together to find a round in 2006, I want to say. Take 7 wasn't even out yet, but it was, you know, available for, like, a test build or something. They had a tournament for it. I got blown away. I got beat up. And then I was so embarrassed to look at her after I lost. Like, yeah, babe, I'm out. I'm done. You know, top 32, yay. But it wasn't until, you know, 2017 when, you know, those first places started coming up. And then 2018, everyone knows what happened in that year. So, <laughs> Oh yeah, that's the rest is history. But um Yeah. My friend, just like I said, just be yourself. They don't like you for you. Ditch them. They're doing you a favor. Just remember, they outnumber us. By probably a number that you can make up even. Probably ten to one or something like that, so just be yourself, bro. Ah, oh, what was her reaction when I got top three at Evo? I should probably answer what was her reaction, like, the entire trip, the entire stay at Evo, like, the whole venue, every time. Like, I would try to walk from point A to B, like, from this table to this seat. I would be stopped by at least 10 people. Are you little Marge, hey man? Let me get your autograph. You mind taking a selfie, you know? Just for a, you know, for a regular person, just not even 10 seconds, not even five seconds to get from one point to the next. It took me like 10 minutes almost. <laughs> so when she was seeing all of that, you know, she was in awe. She was like, oh, you're you're like uh, some sort of celebrity in this realm, aren't you? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah, kind of. I don't like to call myself a celebrity. I just say a popular player. But, um, yeah, I get on the stage, you know, people start cheering and all that stuff, you know. She loved it. And once I finally made top eight and I popped off, I did what I did, you know. Oh, yeah, she was just like, so this means... You get to sleep good today. <laughs> you get to wake up and go into the stadium. I'm like, yeah, you know. But that's something, that's a position not too many girlfriends are able to, you know, say. You know, that they've been able to be front row seats, you know, in the grand finals of Evo. So that was, um, great. And yeah, she'll never forget it. I'll never forget it. You will never forget it. <laughs> Arada will never forget it. But uh, yeah, she, you know, at that moment, even if she had been, you know, taking what I said and ran with it and really believed me from 2016 when I said I was great, right then and there, that's when, you know, 
you had to. It was in your face, you know. I'm on stage, you know, crowd, you know, everywhere. Loud, it was great. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, so I proved it. I finally proved that I was good. <laughs> and, you know, we went back and watched all the, um, you know, the, the matches. Yo, um, Cynical Centaur, thanks, bro. Yeah, we went back and watched everything, you know, with the commentary, and that made it even better, you know. So. Oh, yeah, that was great. Yeah, look at the time. I saw that. I died laughing. Eris is the GOAT. It's unfortunate that he won't be, you know, commentating the, the final, so. That means that, you know, the rest of the guys are going to do their thing. It'll still be enjoyable, you know. But Eris will be restreaming some of it, you know. I watched this video, he said he was gonna do it. Not for more than five hours, but that's a restream to watch. Like for tonight and uh, tomorrow. But like I said, I'm gonna try and do it uh, Sunday. Yeah, Mistogan. Um, next year, I think I'm gonna take a risk, you know. Because I know, you know, it's it's always been a question of mine. You know, if I'm doing this well, you know, getting, like, even top nine at this year's EVO. I tied for ninth with, like, Shadow and, a, you know, two others. You know, with not as much practice, not as much dedication, you know, due to, you know, the outside life. You know, working, girlfriend, you know content creation all that the whole nine doing the interviews and all this man so much stuff so much stuff that's taken away from just practicing and going 100% hard in Tekken you know I wonder if I were to take this game as seriously as all the rest of the the finalists that we're gonna be watching later how good would I be and that's like a question I want to answer. I want to see and be able to answer that before my competitive career withers away and dies. You know, I want to be able to see that. You know, yo, Neo Red, thank you. Yeah, and keep it up, Neo Red. I've seen your streams before. Keep it up. Don't be like me and take, you know, month-long breaks. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the thing. 2020, I'm going to try and do it. And I might take the ultimate risk to get it done. But you have to, you know, I'm going to have to make a, a huge, huge, huge sacrifice to reach my goal. Because I see people like, you know, Anakin. I see all the people, you know, Jimmy J and Shadow. You know, they are where they are because they put their head into the game. They put their heart and soul into it. They study. They're students of the game. And they travel. They go to all the events. I go to maybe four or five every year. And they're all the biggest tournaments. I'm not going to a lot of, you know, the smaller ones. I'm just going where the steepest competition is. And whatever happens, happens. But, um, yo, Trey Pound, thanks for the uh, host, bro. So, I'm gonna try, you know, next year. We're gonna see how good the one, the man who suplexed the gods of Tekken. Let's see how good that guy can be. So, um, we're going to see. I'm going to try, you know, right now I'm doing the steps to make that leap of faith so it won't be so much of a leap, you know. It's not going to be jumping off of a cliff and hoping that the wind current takes me up higher. It's going to be more like, you know, jumping off the top of a Hummer into concrete, you know. Something like that. I don't know. That was probably a bad comparison, but you know. Yo, Swift Blue Dragon. Thanks, thanks, thanks. 
So we're gonna see, we're gonna see, so. I'll KO from heaven. Yes, I'm gonna still use King. Now there is a slight potential, slight. I think Armor King might be one buff away from like really, really, really enticing me to use him in tournaments. Of course, if I'm seen, you know, picking Armor King in a tournament, my whole reputation is gonna change like right then and there, just for having him on the screen. And that's another big risk for me, you know. I like to be seen as the king specialist, the king loyalist, the guy who wins with king. But um, if I do it with Armor King, is you know he uses, you know he's not loyal, you know. People are gonna be able to say that, and they will. You said what buff is that? <laughs> I don't know exactly what buff it is, but. Like, it might be a Rage Drive. Like, what if they give him a new Rage Drive that is just awesome, you know? Like, something that can be used as a combo extender. Like, a buff like that would really, 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 really change the, um, like, the scale of how good Armor King is. He's already, like, almost perfect as he is now. Don't get me wrong. But, um, like... He is one buff, like I said, one buff away from being, like, obviously, obviously top tier. A lot of characters are top tier, but they aren't, like, obviously top tier. I think Armor King is one of them. He needs a better raise drive. Ah, uh, that raise drive turns into a mid, he's broken. <laughs> It doesn't need to be me. That's that's just cheap. But um, I don't know. Better tracking. Um, I don't know. I think his tracking is decent. He has something that tracks both directions. You know, well, not both, but either direction. He has stuff against side step right, stuff against side step left. Homie moves could be a little bit better, but. His playstyle isn't too offensive anyways. He's more of a defensive character. So, um... That's what I think about Armor King. He's... Kind of like a opposite. Almost a total opposite of King. With how you play him and how you win with him. Because King's defense is nowhere near as good as Armor King's. But on the contrary, the offense is definitely there. The Oki is there with King. But I'm not, I'm you know, you know, I'm not just 100% sold on using him in tournaments yet. Even though I have a pretty decent armor King, you guys have seen it. You know the Master Drip. You know that character. <laughs> oh boy. Down for a two, maybe not as unsafe. I don't know. Yo, GZE Gamer, thank you. Wow. Tier three for 19 months. Thank you, sir. And, um,. Ten and thirty-three. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Yeah, the yeah the Armor King win poses are godlike. That's you know probably the coolest like set of intro and outros I've seen in Tekken in a long time. Why am I playing with Paul? That's right. I got lost in thought. I can't do it. He should be able to get four of these if I'm good enough. But I'm not good enough. I'm not Neo Sean Wu. Trying to do an ugly combo.
<laughs> yeah, that's not even worth it. You just started messing around with King. What poke should you be using? Just let's see, let's see. Of course, we're gonna always use Jab. That's with like any character in the game. Jabs are really, really good. You don't know you wanna know why? Just watch the JDCR jab video. Probably one of the best videos I've ever seen. <laughs> as far as like content creation. But King has really, really damaging jabs, like 22 points of life this is 25 so probably like the strongest one two jab that i can think of you know of the ones that you know don't knock down like you know gigas and akuma 